In this webisode, we're going to be looking at uh, starting orders and uh, placing orders for coffee. We're going to enter in pin code 1. This is our demo pin code. And we're taken to the coffee menu. This is our demo coffee menu. We have different uh, categories here, but we're going to be looking directly at the coffees. Here we also have subcategories placed within the menu itself. So this cold coffee button here switches us between the cold coffees and the regular coffees. We've laid the menu out with the main coffees up at the top here and modifiers down in this section. In order to start an order or take a coffee, you simply select the coffee that you want to choose. In this case, we're going to go with a coffee and it's going to be a large coffee. We set this menu up to prompt for modifiers. Uh, you can change this for any item. Uh, you can select different prompts for different items. In this case, we don't want any prompts for that item. Once you've placed a drink in the order, you can modify it if you need to. If you want to change the size, you can select the size from the list here and we can change it to small. If we want to change the quantity, we just press the quantity button and we go ahead and change it to two. We can also repeat the item or delete the item. We'll go ahead and add another item in here, a large cappuccino and after that the person says hey I wanted um, whipped cream on my coffees so you can go ahead and select the item and put whipped cream in there and it will insert it for the item we can also go back and modify the cappuccino if you want to put whole milk on it or make it extra hot once you delete the item it will delete any modifiers associated with it. Finally, when you'd like to make payment on the order uh, to close it out, we have uh, credit close and exact change on the screen here so you can make a quick payment. If you have a credit integrated credit card processing and you press credit close, you get a prompt for the uh, swiping the credit card. Or you can press exact cash and just close out the order quickly. This feature will print out the any items that need to go to the prep area uh, for your espresso bar or food and it will print out a uh, receipt if you've set it up to print out receipts. You don't have to print out receipts if you'd like to save paper. We just click back on the screen and it takes us directly back into our menu. If we want to look at different payment methods we can enter in some more items and we can go out to take out or dine in. It's gonna show us our payment screen with more payment options. You can use gift cards, VIP cards, credit card services, uh, gift certificates. We have split payment options. So there's really a lot of options here uh, that you can hide or show depending on what kind of variety of payment methods that you wanna accept. A lot of coffee shops want to keep it real simple. Uh, we've just left these options up here uh, to show you what's available. That's basically it for taking coffee orders. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the menu here now. We can place any of these items anywhere we want um, multiple times. That makes it a little bit easier to set up one item that you're showing for cold coffees, and for regular coffees and say for tea. And our cold coffees here, we still have these, these um, modifiers that we've set down. We, we follow the same placement for the modifiers every single time to make it easier for the staff to find their items. If you have a real big menu and you have a hard time finding items, you can alpha sort the menu and it puts it in alphabetical listing or if you press the button again, you're back at ordered sorting.